Hello guys, Jeffrey speaking here. So today I would like to do a review of the ASUS N45SL j Child Mystic Edition. First and foremost, I'd like to talk about the I.O. ports. At the left hand side, firstly you will see the Kensington lock followed by the DC in port. After that is the air vent for the ventilation purposes, LAN port, VGA port, HDMI out port, microphone jack, and last but not least is the combo between headphone and SPDIF jack. At the front, you will get several LED indicators for the notebook and a flash memory card slot. At the right hand side, you will get two USB 3.0 ports, which is compatible with USB 2.0 and 1.1 devices. After that, you will get an optical drive, followed by USB 2.0. And last but not least, it's a really special jack, which Asus call it as subwoofer jack. As for the back, it doesn't have any I.O. ports. After introducing the I.O. ports of this notebook, now I'd like to talk about the specifications. For this notebook, it is equipped with Intel Core i5-2450M with a clock speed of 2.4 GHz. As you know, it has dual-core processors. As for the HDD, it is equipped with 750GB of 7200RPM SATA. As for the RAM, it is equipped with 4GB of DDR3 RAM with the clock speed of 1333MHz. For the OS, it is Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. For the LCD diagonal size, is 14 inch with a resolution of 1366 x 768 as for the GPU it has a dedicated Nvidia GeForce GT 635M with 2GB of VRAM as for the weight it is around 2.4 kg next I'd like to talk about the Windows Experience Index for your guys information Windows Experience Index is determined by the lower subscore so for this case, it has a score of 5.7, which is limited by the graphics itself. So now I'd like to talk about the size comparison between the ASUS N45SL and the ASUS G73J hash. For your guys information, ASUS G73J hash has a screen size of 17.3 inch. As for the ASUS N45SL, the screen size is 14 inch. So if I stack the ASUS N45SL on top of the ASUS G73J hash, as you can see, this is a side view of these notebooks. In terms of thickness, it is more and less the same. As for the length, ASUS G73J hash is longer. So now I'd like to show you guys the front view. This is in another side view of these notebooks. And last but not least, is the back view of these notebooks. Now I'd like to talk about the build quality of this notebook. In overall, it feels really solid in hand, although it is not made out of aluminum, but believe me, you will not find any flimsiness in this notebook. As for the cover of this notebook, it is made out of glossy plastic surface, and although I always mention that I dislike glossy surfaces, but for this notebook, it is exceptional. The reason is because it is not fingerprint magnet. As for the bezel, it is glossy, and on top of this, you will see a 480p webcam, which is in 16 by 9 ratio. As for the screen, it is glossy as well. As for the palm rest, uh, it is made out of a matte plastic surface, which has a really nice texture on it. As for the click buttons, it is a one bar click. Uh, besides that, it has an aluminum made speaker grill, which adds some elegance into this notebook. For the keyboard itself, uh, it is really tactile and most importantly, it does not have the keyboard flex problem unlike the ASUS U32U. Um, however, bear in mind that uh, it, it is not illuminated. For the hinge itself, it is made out of plastic um, but it feels really smooth when I tilt the screen. Now it's time to show you guys the viewing angle of this notebook.
As you know, this notebook is one of the Asus N series entertainment notebooks, which is aimed for the entertainment enthusiast. Asus has collaborated with renowned audio experts, which is Bang and Olufsen Ice Power, to integrate speakers up to 32mm in diameter into this notebook. So, it can produce a really crisp high and mid tones. As for the bass, it can, it can be produced via the included mini subwoofer. So now I'd like to let you guys hear some sound clips from this notebook. First is without the mini subwoofer. So that's all for the first part. The second part is with the subwoofer. So that's all for the speaker's performance. Now I would like to show you guys some accessories included along with this notebook. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about the pros and cons of this notebook. For the pros, the first one would be the speaker's performance. This notebook can produce a really nice high, mid and low level sound. For the low level sound, it can be produced by the included subwoofer which is a bonus for you guys out there. The second pro would be the solid build quality. Although this notebook does not have the aluminum chassis just like the Apple MacBook Pro, but I can assure you guys that this is one of the most solid notebooks I have seen in the market now. The third pro would be the nice and tactile keyboard and most importantly it does not have the keyboard flex problem. The next pro would be the great multimedia shortcut keys which is located at the left hand side of the keyboard. Conventionally if you want to increase the volume of, the, uh, of your music, you have to hold down the function key before you tap on the volume button. But for this notebook, you do not have to do that again. The last pro would be the freebies itself. I know you guys will be asking now why I say the freebies would be the pros of this notebook. Unlike the other notebooks, this notebook includes a lot of freebies ranging from the optical mouse, um, the subwoofer which is really important for better sound experience, and most importantly it has the JCHAR postcards. So if you are a fan of JCHAR, then this, is, this should be one of your consideration. Next I'd like to talk about the cons of this notebook. The first con would be the lacking of backlit keyboard. Nowadays, I believe that backlit keyboard is quite essential and important for notebook users as they tend to use their notebooks under low light condition. Besides that, uh, this notebook is a bit bulky. However, I do understand that we have to compensate the size of this notebook for a better audio experience. The last con would be the glossy screen. If you often use your notebooks under the sunlight, then this notebook can cause some problem to you. So that's all for my review today guys and for you guys out there who have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button above and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!